Hey Taurus, welcome, welcome to July. <laughs> How you guys doing? Hope you're doing great. Hope things are going well for you. Let's see what's on tap for you. This is Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus for Taurus. Please feel free to swap around the characters. As always, I could be talking to a cross watcher. All right, so let's see where we go. Uh, I've had a few notes. If you're interested in the opening to channel course, I'll be teaching later in July. Watch this space. We're going to be posting um, a way to sign up for that. Going to be doing that in July and August. And then we have something super special for September. So, we'll see that very soon. All right, let's see where we go. What is going on for Taurus? What is going on for Taurus? All right, let's see. Ah, Ace of Cups, yin energy. Could have been very in yourself. Yes, look at this, deep knowing. That's the high priestess. Chop wood. Uh, I feel like some of you have become a little bit more introverted than you normally are. Uh, I feel like this recent energy of the Capricorn full moon probably really helped. And now we're in Cancerian energy. So the water of that really focused on your home, focused on, you know, what you want to create. It is like a coming homecoming kind of a feeling to me. Um, putting in the time and effort to create a beautiful home. That's really where it seems like some of you are focused right now. Let's see here. All right. Five of wands underneath. Six of cups. Temperance energy. Sagittarius energy. Queen of cups. Wow. Some of you are dealing with a Sag. Contemplation. There you go. There you are. Um, that is uh, Virgo energy. That's the hermit. Okay. Five of cups. The moon. Lots of water here. So Virgo. And then there's this Cancerian energy here. This is the time. This is a reflection of the past. I feel like you're reflecting on the past here. Really learning from it. Okay. There's this five of wands here too. So we've got a couple fives, nine of swords, ace of pentacles, two of pentacles. All right. So there's not a lot of movement forward here. I feel like this is a very introspective time. It's time for you to take stock of something that um, may have happened with a Sag or you're just focused on yourself and there's a Sag around you. All right. Um, I feel like what's coming in, though, is very good. Ace of Pentacles and Two of Pentacles. You've got some choices in terms of new directions to go. And I, I just can't help but feel like there's some kind of regret here um, around, let's see, what's the regret here? The Five of Cups. Fool. Ace of Cups again. Empress, Page of Cups, wow, Chariot, moving forward. I feel like some of you want a new beginning with a Sag. Okay, I also see, uh, I see Taurus here in the, in the goddess energy of Empress. That's Taurus and Libra. Libra is all about relationships. So there's kind of this like, I wish I could, I wish I could do this again. I wish I could have a new beginning with this person. Okay, I'm, I, I feel like you're going to get it. And I feel like you get it when you release sadness about it, when you release regret. If you're vibrating in this energy of the past, okay, I think it's great to learn from it. There was definitely some kind of fight that happened or some kind of um, altercation or something like that. And I do feel like this person is coming back. Six of Cups and then the energy here, Queen of Cups and Temperance, Sagittarius. So... This person has love for you. This person has love for you. This person wants to balance, wants to, wants to um, work things out. I feel like there's going to be some effort applied on both your parts to have this work out. I don't know that you're seeing this right now, though, okay? Because 
the five of cups and the moon. This is very much an illusion that it's over. Okay, I don't think this is over. I don't think this is over. Nine of swords, waking you up in the middle of the night, like, oh, I wish I could take it back. I really, I feel like what happened here was not good. I feel like I should have said something different or done something different. You know, I'm really um, afraid this is over. You could be dealing with a Cancerian, like I said, a Sag, Cancer, Virgo, Libra. I'll look at those in the extended. Sag energy is loud here. This person doesn't have to be a Sag. They can be somebody who is um, somebody who might be hard to pin down, somebody who might be a little afraid of commitment, somebody who doesn't, you know, don't fence me in kind of a feeling. Okay, so it doesn't have to be a Sag necessarily, but they might be channeling that Sag kind of like, I like my freedom kind of thing. And I do feel like there is a new beginning on the horizon with this person. And Ace of Cups and the Princess energy, there's definitely um, apologies going on. There's definitely some kind of message of love, message of understanding, right? When we're talking about the energy of the Empress, there's this beautiful balancing and grounding energy here. And then we have movement forward, cancer. All right, movement forward. Cancer showing up a lot here. So I feel like, let's see, let's get a little more clarification here. Let me get this deck. All right. Um, nine of swords. Okay. King of cups, queen of cups, king of cups. Uh, I feel like you know that this person is your person. This person is the person that you uh, are manifesting or working on manifesting. It's almost like it's okay. Don't worry about it. Six of Pentacles. I'm, I'm clarifying the five of wands here. Six of Pentacles, three of Cups, Fortune, Wheel of Fortune. I absolutely see a new beginning here. Absolutely. Okay. And... I feel like there was just multiple people involved in this. It doesn't mean it was a third party. I feel like you had choices. And maybe you didn't move fast enough for this person, right? Sag is like, come on, give me an answer. Uh, but if you feel like you've lost this person, I don't think you have. I think you're gonna have another, um, another bite at the apple here. Six of Pentacles, Three of Cups, um, there's definitely choices being made, five of wands, there's, there's a lot of people here, a lot of choices, and, you know, for some of you, this, this Sag or this other person with this Sag energy could have kind of said, like, I'm not interested in having a one-to-one -one commitment, you know, I need to be free, I need to be out in the world, I need to be, I can't be tied down, and I think that really upset you and maybe caused you to kind of go inside and be like, wow, I didn't really think I was doing that. I didn't really think I was trying to tie anybody down. Like, you know, this might be teaching you about how to love, which, you know, uh, is it Rumi who said, you know, a thing not ta, um, uh, love so that, so that the other person feels free. Okay, there's just a different energy here, different, a need for balancing your energy, which is, I feel very, you know, beautiful and nurturing and committed. Um, and the, and the, the fire energy here, or, you know, there's Sagittarius here again. There's a lot of love from this person. They need to be loved differently. Okay. And I feel like that's what you're learning here. There's the contemplation. There's the hermit of like, I'm afraid to love differently because if I put myself out there, if I, if I give love to someone, and it doesn't feel good coming back. It's like, I feel like this person will love coming back. I feel like they will be able to give, give and take, six of pentacles. This time, I feel like they'll be able to give. But I feel like there's this, this like mothering, smothering thing that's just for a few of you. But I feel like in the bigger picture here, there's a definitely a different quality to how you love. And the lesson can be here about removing any kind of codependency. You want this person to feel free too. You want this person to feel like they're 
able to be in the world and they're, you know, excited and inspired by the relationship. There is going to be a new beginning, a new grounded beginning. And I just feel like it's a, it's a lesson in, oh, I didn't realize other people take love differently or give love differently, take, uh, receive love and give love differently. And I think that that's what you're learning here. Okay. It's about, it's about the how. Not about the quality of love, because I think the quality of love here on both sides is very, very good. All right. King of Cups and Queen of Cups. I think that's maybe the place where you're stuck a little bit that you don't know if this person loves you. And I'm here to tell you they do. It just feels different to you because it's a different quality. There's a different quality to their love, something that you may have never experienced before. Different doesn't mean bad. Different can be expansive. Different can be um, the next step on your path here is about learning about a different quality of love. Okay, so I feel like this person is coming back around. I will look at all of these. I see Sag, Sag, Pisces, okay, Virgo, Cancer, Libra. All right, so I will look at all those. I don't think this person is a water sign. I'm just going to say, and I'm less inclined to believe that they're an earth sign. I think more that they're a fire, fire, um, or air with Libra. Okay. But we'll look at all those signs. Okay. And then I'll get some timing. Uh, if you want to continue on with me, Taurus, if this has resonated for you, the link is below July. I'll see you.